Now, Donald Trump's closing ad, uh, which was brilliant, by the way, uh, took on the banks and the corruption on Wall Street. Now, in it, he says, look, hey, I'm the candidate. I'm going to I'm going to fight the banks. I'm going to drain the swamp. I'm going to go after the global moneyed elite, the bankers. Right. Well, he says that. Well, that, that, there, that means that there's no way that he would put any of those, consider putting any of those guys on his cabinet, right? Well, hmm. new report out in CNBC says that apparently Trump advisors have floated the idea of naming Jamie Dimon as Treasury Secretary. Now, this is according to two sources familiar with the matter. So these are inside sources. Now, Jamie Dimon, if you don't know, he is the CEO of... J.P. Morgan Chase. Now, J.P. Morgan Chase happened to have been one of the biggest recipients of the bank bailout. He's received about $12 billion in federal money after crashing the bank. Oof. Now, wait a minute. I thought Trump supporters were angry about the bank bailouts. Hmm. Now, uh, I wonder if Trump supporters are saying, with the possibility of these picks... Hey, whoa, Trump, we elected you. We didn't elect you to appoint a banker that got all of this free bailout money. That's not what we elected you for. You were supposed to drain the swamp, not fill it, not set up shop in it. Oh, God. Now, look, uh, caveat. Now, just because they're floating this idea doesn't mean that 100% uh, that's who they're going for, right? It's still early, right? And look, there's even no guarantee that Jamie Dimon would take the position. In fact, a spokesman for Dimon declined to elaborate behind his past remarks that he would not be interested in becoming Trump's sec Treasury Secretary. But then again, isn't that what they all say? No. N me? No, I'm not going to take that. I'm not interested in that position. I'm sorry. I mean, didn't Paul Ryan say the same thing? Uh, I, me? Speaker of the House? No, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Okay, I'll do it. Yet, yet you had you you twisted my arm. Now I guess I'll be Speaker of the House, and then now he's running again for Speaker of the House. By the way, so <laughs> look now, uh, Diamond, he's not the only one that is under consideration too. And look, I don't have the full list yet, right? But according to those same sources, former Goldman Sachs official Steve Nunchin is also considered to be the front runner of the position. So you've got Diamond and Nunchin. Oh, great. So here's what's ironic about Munchen, right? He is a big donator to the Democrats, to Hillary Clinton. I mean, look, he hasn't just given to the Democrats. He's given to both parties, and he's given to different candidates. He says, look, I give to whoever I feel represents my interests the best. Then it turns out he's given more money to Democrats throughout the years. So why would Donald Trump's, <clears throat> so why would Donald Trump's team even consider him when he's given so much money to the Democrats? Well, according to billionaire developer Richard Lafarc, or Richard Lafrac, sorry, he told Bloomberg, quote, he's the guy that can recognize an opportunity and adapt to it. He's able to switch into different things. So now here's a banker that's seeing a big opportunity with Donald Trump. Oh, but I thought he was going to drain the swamp. Now, see, here's another interesting about thing about Nunchin that makes sense. When you see that, hey, these uh, Republicans around Donald Trump are saying, you should, you, should, you should appoint this guy to the Treasury Secretary. See, he's been criticized for being too soft on Wall Street. In fact, Jeff Hauser, director of the nonprofit Revolving Door Project, told Politico, it's hard to see Nunchen cracking down on Wall Street. Indeed, one imagines his banking agenda would be to rehabilitate Trump's reputation with Wall Street. Hmm. It looks as though either pick diamond or nunchin would serve to do just that to rehabilitate ties with wall street to all the trumpers out there what you really thought that donald trump was going to change the establishment no no he is the establishment you think he's going to fight for you no he's going to fight for the banks he's going to fight for himself to get himself more money how do you do that you suck up to the banks <laughs> because look all indications right now is that the trump administration is going to be more business as usual. That's not what you voted for. Unless you voted for the racism. In that case, you'll still be quite happy with Donald Trump. 
But if you actually voted for Trump because he said he was going to change the system and rein in the banks, you're in for a huge disappointment. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation.